O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice. This is the third part of a four-part Advent series where we share Sunday readings in our Advent season. Bishop John here, inviting you to focus on works of art and tie them into our Sunday scripture. This way we can make the most of our Advent season leading up to the wonderful, joyful season of Christmas. You know, a very famous painting called The Angelus is located at the Orsay Museum in Paris, France, and is a mid 19th century painting by Jean-Francois Millet. First entitled Prayer for the Potato Crop as a commissioned piece for the art collector Thomas Appleton, who never came to collect it, the artist then decided to add a church in the background and change the name of the painting to The Angelus to reflect Jean-Francois Millet's fond memory of his grandmother, who would stop and pray at noon. This painting is a reminder that we must pray without ceasing. In this third Sunday of Advent, St. Paul says to the Thessalonians, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Now next Sunday, we will celebrate both the fourth Sunday of Advent and Christmas Eve. There, on that day, we will hear the proclamation of the angel who spoke unto Mary. This conversation between the angel Gabriel and Mary is the centerpiece of the traditional prayer in our church called the Angelus. As I offer this prayer, let us look upon Millet's painting and make a recommitment to rejoice always and to pray without ceasing. It is called the angel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord declared to Mary and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of the, our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.